Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Holy crap. Well, the last episode was a disaster. Uh, it looks like they've cleaned up a little bit in here, but still not much. Uh, we don't have enough doctors. We probably don't have uh, enough paramedics here. We should probably get some paramedics in, shouldn't we? Uh, let's get the paramedics in, shall we? Uh, if it's if it's not too late. I think a lot of... There are a lot of ambulances here anyway. Um, I don't seem to be able to get... Be able to get the paramedics in. So they're not going to be able to help us. Uh, we are going to have to get our infirmary up to scratch as a priority. Because there are a lot of people bleeding out and dead who need attention desperately. Holy crap. We had... Probably the biggest riot of all time uh, last episode, which uh, goes to show that maybe we need to start thinking about Supermax. We need to get some of our gang leaders out of the prison population and into Supermax. Uh, and we have to make sure that they're not being punished too severely so that we can avoid another one of these riots again. We should have probably done a bang up and a lockdown. Uh, good thing we didn't enable free fire because way more people would have died as well. Uh, and hopefully in the next gigantic riot, uh, the gang leaders themselves will get killed uh, and then just put a stop to it instantly. Pwah! Man, we're also completely out of money, but we have a massive intake turning up in the next five hours or so. 60 prisoners arriving worth 29,800 bucks, which is going to be much needed. That's going to make up for all of the people that died. Also, normal sec is nearly done. Very nearly done, if you can believe that. It is looking pretty spiffy and fantastic. Not so much so that there's just a bunch of women laying in pools of blood, injured, dying here. Um, but as soon as we get that money in, we'll get the infirmary up to scratch and we'll get that sorted out. Another thing that we need to get sorted out, holy fuck, is the are these, these death row clemency hearings, which are not being uh, done right now because I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. I forgot that we actually have to do, not parole hearings, but death row appeals. There's two in the queue here. We gotta get these things going, big time. So let's get them, let's get them rolling. Death row appeals. Unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna have, how many a day? Six hearings per day, okay? Uh, in our two death row parole rooms. Let's just make sure that the schedule is showing that. So we have parole hearings happening in death row and they're scheduled. Uh, I think they come under parole hearings. No, nope, these are death row appeals. Okay, so we want to get, we want to sack these parole hearings off. Um, actually, no, we wanted another parole hearing there. Okay, so these are shared parole, and then we've got parole for death row. Okay, so we're going to get a parole hearing moved over to, uh, we would like to move this one here, please. Yes, no, no longer a parole hearing because there's no parole here. Okay, we're going to move this one over here. Uh, we're going to move this one. Uh, to here. So this is parole death row. Uh, and then we're going to have to have uh, this one moved over to here as well. And then where's our, our death row? Okay, there it is. Okay, so this death row appeal can go here. So then we got parole hearings uh, out the wazoo, except for now we also have death row, death row. Okay, so the death row appeals are fine. And then we have the parole hearings and then we've lost one parole hearing. Uh, which we're going to need to add another one for. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we can start this parole hearing, edit the schedule, and it looks like all the death row appeals are happening in death row, and all the parole hearings are now happening in uh, the different uh, shared parole uh, areas. Okay, perfecto. Nice. Okay, so finally now, maybe we'll get closer to actually frying someone. Not that we need to at this point, okay? The last thing this prison needs now is another death, okay? We're gonna get a big slap on the wrist from the last time as well. The CEO is gonna get in touch and he's gonna be like, hey, listen, what's going on here, you big jabroni? What what the hell is happening? How did you let this happen on your watch of, of all times and, and things? Unbelievable. It looks like there's some barf and blood mixed together there, which is kind of gross. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look at our gangs. Okay, so we have a gang leader here. Um, and it looks like this common room is controlled by this gang right now, which is a bit of a problem. We are gonna have to send, uh, some guards into this common room and try to evict, uh, this gang from here. So, deployment-wise then, we wanna say, uh, we wanna have a guard patrol, and we're gonna have a guard patrolling, uh, this common room here, like this. And this is gonna happen at all times, okay? So that's one guard in there at all times, uh, kicking out the gang 
from that common room, okay? It looks like they've taken over the common room. Anybody who tries to set foot on that turf is going to get stabbed, probably. And we really don't want that to happen. Okay, Death Row Appeals. It is still... Uh, it's it's just coming up to 6.30 a.m. So come about 7 a.m. We should be seeing some death row appeals uh, people turning up to the prison and handling that business, hopefully. Um, I know that probably didn't sound like my finest moment as well, me saying the word business. I'm a 37-year-old man. I have no... Um, there's there's I have no right to use uh, that that sort of slang. Those sort of terms. But you know what? I'm a bit crazy. So I did it. Okay. Let's just let the past stay in the past. Let's just... Let's not forget that it happened. Okay? Let's embrace the fact that it happened. And let's just move on with our lives. Okay? I did use the term business. And I may even indulge myself in using it again at some point. I'm just saying. Okay? So don't let it get you too bent out of shape. All right? Anyway, it's currently free time in the prison. Uh, we are about to make uh, some money. Uh, we're about to fall into uh, a large amount of money, actually, which is going to be great because we currently have a, a very low amount of money. In fact, we have minus 2,626 bucks, which is not the best. It looks like the gang's turf is being seen to. Okay, let's see. Uh, so far, we've had an altercation inside the common room. We should have a guard on patrol in here. Looks like the guard is turning up. Taser is ready and uh, the gang members tried to kick him out. Uh, we're we're, we're mid-eviction, okay? It looks like the 33 members of uh, the, I don't know, green vampires or whatever, uh, have managed to kill somebody and they're worth $2.70. So that's uh, something to boast about. Okay, next step then. Let us get uh, this infirmary kitted out a bit better. Okay, we're going to need some more beds. There's a lot of people who have been injured. We're going to spend the money needed on these beds. Okay, not only that, we're also going to hire a bunch more doctors as well. Because we currently only have four. Let's up that to about ten. Okay, let's get ten doctors in here. So that they can go out and they can see to some of these injured prisoners. Okay, we currently have a lot of prisoners requiring medical attention. Thirty of them in fact. We have 111 waiting solitary confinement for various uh, crimes and stuff. And we have two currently in uh, some form of lockdown as well. Okay, we have 14 grand left from that. We're currently bringing in a whopping 19,905 per day as well. It looks like our intake has turned up here. So let's see if there's anybody who needs to be taken out of the fold. Okay, we don't want any more people dying if possible. We have a couple of legendary prisoners in here. We need to be careful of. Um, is anybody... Okay, no. There's a couple of question marks, though. We have April Wolfinger with a 46% coverage. Let's activate her and bring her in. Okay, let's see if she knows anything about these people. She might know a thing or two. It's, it's, it's entirely possible. Okay, where is she? Where is April right now? April is currently um, serving some time inside solitary for her part in the uh, great riot of 1912 or whatever it was. Let's get her recruited as well. Sherry York is now going to be a CI as well. Does anybody else? Whoa, ho, ho. Hang on a second. Ex-law enforcement. All right, Fleur. You're going to have to get into protective custody as well. Okay, we found somebody who needs some attention, who needs to be put into uh, protective custody. And so she will go into protective custody. All right, it looks like April uh, has found a couple of people here that are coming in who are targeted and are going to need to go into... Uh, protective custody. That's good. Good job, April. And look, she's found a whole bunch of contraband and shit as well. It looks like there's a gun being carried by a gang member. Okay, this is not good. All right, hang on a second. Where is this gang member? And how can I select this gang member? Okay, there she is. We're going to have to search this prisoner, okay? It's going to raise the suspicion on April a little bit, but we can't have a prisoner wandering around with a shotgun, okay? It's not going to happen, okay? Ex-law enforcement, good. Okay, what about you? You're going to need to be made into protective custody. And we have another one coming off the bus here as well, by the looks of it, who's going to need to be put into protective custody almost straight away. All right, that's great, April. You can, you, you can be relieved now. You can go back to w doing whatever it was you were doing, serving hard time. Sounds like there's a lot of shit happening here, okay? 
Uh, it looks like 35 gang members are furious because their leader is being punished. Okay, fine. Let's avoid this happening again. Where is the current lead gang leader? Okay, that leader is not being punished. This one could well be being punished, possibly. There's 35 men. Okay, so it's her, apparently, who's being punished. That doesn't seem right to me, but let's just see. Oh, yeah, no, she is. Okay, punish. All right, so let's, um, let's see. She is being punished currently for attacking staff. Two hours of solitary, apparently. There's no way to actually uh, end this punishment, I don't think. Uh, so we're going to have to do a bang up. Okay, we're going to do a bang up. Quick. All right, everybody. Get back to your cells quickly. We're doing a bang up, okay? We're not having a riot on our hands this time, that's for sure, okay? People are pissed. The gang members are all pissed. There's a lot of shit happening here. Uh, let's all- Fuck me, there's a lot to do here right now, okay? Ex-law enforcement? Good. Okay, what are, what are you? Ex-law enforcement as well? I think this is- I think this is her, right? Ex-law enforcement character. Ex-law enforcement. Yes, it's Camilla Pennick. Okay, you're gonna have to go into protective custody as well. It is not safe, okay? Holy shit! Okay, this is nuts! Alright. Let's get our ex-law enforcement people into protective custody quickly. We're doing a bang up. We're sending all the prisoners to their cells because they're being uh, they're being unruly, uh, to say the least. Uh, where is? It looks like the gang leader, who is uh, Alyssa Venny, is currently. Um, can we end the punishment? No, we can't. Okay, so we're just gonna have to keep tasing people and leave everybody in bang up until this passes. Okay, we have to wait for about two hours here for this to pass. Uh, which is not the best. We've got 57 minutes left before everybody can come out, okay? We're having a lockdown. We're gonna try to avoid having a second riot in a row because the last one was crazy. Look, Minsec especially are fucking pissed about this. Look, they're concerned for their safety, rightfully so, because of the big riot and stuff. There's a whole bunch of people that have been upgraded to max sec by the looks of it as well. We do not have the capacity for them. I guess that was for their involvement in... The fucking riot yesterday as well. Jesus Christ. Okay. How far off we from this person getting out? 23 minutes. Okay. We're just going to have to weather this one, unfortunately. I think this is the way that we're going to have to play it. Plus, we got this gigantic intake. Plus, I think we lost a couple of guards, possibly. We're going to have to get five more here in to help out with this intake. Because some of these ladies are going to start escaping in a minute, I think. It's going to be the worst. Okay, let's see. How are we? Six, five. Okay, things should just, like, even out in a minute. Okay, she attacks staff for some... Okay, she should no longer be punished now. Okay, you can get out. Okay, maybe the guard is coming to help here. Okay, no, there's... 30... There's... 35 gang members still furious about this punishment as well, okay? And that's probably because of the bang up, okay? So if we take the bang up off, now everybody should be able to come out and not have a riot, hopefully, okay? Let's all work together to not have a riot. Wait, is she is she serving more time for, like, something else now? Oh, for fuck's sakes, they found weapons on her as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's two more hours. We might need to do a bang up if things get, like, too unruly, okay? Because it looks like... The heat in the prison is rising. Things are becoming a little bit unruly. We're finding weapons and all sorts on people here. All of our guards are just completely, like, maxed out here, okay? We're gonna have to get, like, one, two, three, four, five more guards in to help out, okay? We have a whole bunch of guards uh, that are now doing nothing that should hopefully be able to help with this intake. Man, this could be the make or break of the prison, actually. Fuck me. This is a crazy one. Look at all these people coming in. I mean... Yeah, it was great getting the money and stuff, but holy shit. Like, wait, there's so much to manage now. It's nuts. I don't know what to do. Oh, ball sacks. Okay, are, are gang members still furious? They appear to be furious, but not too furious, okay? They have work and free time now, which they are they seem to be somewhat enjoying, if that's possible. Uh, we have uh, maximum capacity for... Um, max sec is 42. We currently have 74 people looking for new homes inside max sec, okay? There's a lot of people waiting solitary as well, which is kind of nuts. Um, I think once we have a little bit more money, we can start making the super max wing. We're gonna need it at this rate. Uh, I thought maybe it was a little bit... Oh, for... F okay, who died? Okay, who actually died? Okay, it looks like we've lost another officer potentially here, okay? But these people are still fucking furious about uh, the gang leader being punished, okay? This time it looks like possibly 
Oh wait, has she been left out? Okay, we've had one death today, and it was a member of staff, okay? We might actually have to do, like, a, uh, a bang-up, okay? We're gonna have to send people back to their cells if things escalate any further. Is- are we good now? No! Okay, no, the- the- our leader's still being punished here somehow. I'm not sure how this is happening, okay? Is she- hang on, is she just having, like, a- Oh, fucking more solitary. It's just not fucking stop. How can we avoid her getting any solitary time? Like, these people are just going to be so fucking pissed. Holy crap. We can't really do... Oh, my lord. Okay, we've pro potentially found a tunnel here now as well. Have we? Or is it just a false... Can you smell anything, boy? Can you... Okay, nothing can be smelt, but... We are going to probably have to search the toilets inside Max Sec, okay? Just in case. Because it looks like if it was going to be coming from anywhere, it'd be coming from Max Sec. So let's take a look at the toilets. Make sure that there's no tunnels forming out of Max Sec. That's the worst one to have a tunnel coming out of, for Christ's sake. Uh, we're making some money off uh, early release prisoner rewards, which is great. I bet you whoever's getting out of here is uh, really fucking thankful as well. Because this place has just become... A goddamn pressure cooker of drama, hasn't it? Like, the infirmary is looking nice now, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, man, these people are hopping mad. It's because their beloved gang leader just cannot, for the life of her, behave her fucking self, which is really sad, actually. This is a, an adult as well. This is a fully-fledged adult person who is just unable to behave themselves. Like, that that's probably why they're here. I, I get it. But Jesus Christ. I mean, that is just fucking terrible, isn't it? Okay, we've got another potential CI here. We can recruit. Okay, let's recruit you as an informant. Oh, we got a couple of max sex CIs here, potentially, as well. Chafer. Yeah, we'll get you in here. And let's also get you as well, okay? We're gonna get you in. Okay, we now we have a couple of max sex CIs as well, which is pretty good. Okay. We're just waiting for the heat to die down a little bit. Uh, hopefully people just feel better after they've had something to eat. Uh, likely though, uh, shit is gonna kick off in a major way once again, once they have eaten. Or, or they sit down to eat at least. Okay, let's get some more tables and stuff in here. Let's get some tables and stuff in here. Okay, we got the phones and the showers and stuff, but we could actually use uh, having some stuff in here to keep them busy while they're eating, such as Let's get a whole bunch of prayer mats right up the middle here. Nice. My favorite. I love prayer mats. Okay, let's also get some weight benches in here as well for these ladies to do some exercising when they're just like done eating their grits and stuff. Because that's always nice too, right? A little bit of exercise goes a long way. It uh, helps the mind, body, and soul, which is really nice. I can't believe we lost another officer. I think we're going to probably have to hire on another guard in that case help with some of this intake okay we're spending a lot of money on tasers and body armor and stuff every time we lose a guard we basically lose like a ton of money which really fucking sucks actually okay we need all the money we can get right now okay things seem to be stabilizing a little bit okay the gang members are still pretty pissed about their leader being locked up or whatever but they seem to be getting over it a little bit now and we're heading into uh our uh, dinner time it looks like we're cooking up all the food like there's no tomorrow. We're adding some new stuff to the Max Sec Canteen. Much needed, should be said. And uh, we would probably need to... I wonder if... I wonder if maybe I'm, I'm missing a trick here. Okay, a lot of people are complaining about deliveries being inside and taking forever like to, to work and stuff like that. Maybe I'm missing a trick here. Maybe I make... Maybe I expand this down and make this bit outside. So I can expand protective custody, put like a family room in there as well because we have a, a protective custody person currently unable to be assigned to a cell, I'm pretty sure. Unless she's been like upgraded to something. I doubt it though because she's like ex-law enforcement or whatever so we have to be careful. We have a little bit of money so let's do it. We'll, we'll put deliveries back outside to help the flow of deliveries because there's still like a little bit of a fucking... Uh, backlog here. Okay, so look, let's do this then. Okay, we'll go for a brick wall like down here, okay? We're gonna do this. Okay, check this out. We're going to also um, probably, let's dismantle this door here and replace it with a jail door instead. Okay, we're gonna replace this with a jail door. It's gonna just be another way for people to get in um, to the prison, but it's gonna be a secure door and not just a staff door, okay? Because somebody might just be able to walk out of the staff door uh, let themselves out into the real world, and I think that that would be a fucking disaster, okay? That's not something we need to happen. Okay, so let's put a jail door there. 
Okay, uh, we'll make sure that we have a servo on here as, as well. So let's get the servos set up here like this. It looks like somebody's having an altercation down here with... Oh, God, it's Cali Steel. Cali Steel, who's a gang member, is now unconscious, been tased, okay? Because, again, another adult in the prison, unable to fucking behave themselves. It's eat time. Hopefully, these people will be able to eat and just feel better about the situation, okay? Maybe... All these ladies needed was to just get their blood sugar levels up a little bit and feel better about the whole thing. I mean, there's still 35 gang members furious about their leader being punished and they may start another riot, but let's just hope that that doesn't happen. Okay, so rooms wise then, we don't want exports and deliveries here. What we want to do is we want to have it here instead. But what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to bulldoze these foundations uh, like so. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get rid of all this stuff here, hopefully. Um, get to work guys. Okay, good. They're getting to work. That's nice. We just made a whole bunch of money off exports as well, which is really good. Somebody's having an altercation down here with Scarlet Ward for some reason. She's been apprehended. Okay, nice. Man, I'm really looking forward to day 53 being over, okay? Like, I, I think these girls just need a good sleep. I think that's what they, I think that's what they're desperate for. They need a little bit of food, and then they just need to have a good sleep, and then we could do a shakedown as well, because fuck me. After the riot, somebody got a hold of a gun. I bet you we'll find a whole bunch of tasers and stuff as well. It's going to be a busy couple of days for the staff here. But I'm sure that they'll be able to... Fuck me. Okay, come on now. You, I'm sure you could just open the door for them. Or maybe this guy can? No? Alright, well, we've got a real big clog here in Sector 5. We're going to need a guard. Oh, for shit's sake. Again. Okay, let's do a bang up. Let's get the paramedics in. Let's get the fucking riot police in as well. It looks like we have a second riot on our hands. Okay, we're going to deploy uh, these guys here. We're going to need the paramedics this time as well. Let's deploy these guys here. Deploy these guys here. Let's get the paramedics in as well. We're going to have to send them in hot. We're going to do a hot drop of paramedics. Okay, two deaths. Great, okay, here we go. We have a lot of deaths. We, I, we seem to be in this perpetual hell loop of um, gang leaders being punished because they're just such fucking assholes. Like, we can't seem to, like, okay, just like that, the riot is over. It looks like our boys in blue managed to quell the whole thing. Still gonna need to have the paramedics in. Still gonna get the riot police in as well. It looks like the bang-up might have actually helped there. Free fire, maybe not so much. I'm glad I didn't enable it. Alright, paramedics, work your magic. We got a lot of injured people here. It looks like a lot of people just went a little bit crazy, decided to just go a little bit nuts. Okay, the paramedics are now healing everybody, which is pretty good. The temperature overall in the prison is just fucking terrible, it's got to be said. Like, uh, it looks like we lost another officer as well. How many officers have we? Just the one. Okay, let's get another one in here. We've got officers all over the shop trying to do shit. It's pretty nuts. There's a lot of stuff to do. Looks like there's a bunch of paramedics just like chilling in the toilets right now as well. This is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, Riot boys, you guys can go home. Looks like the paramedics uh, have also done their work as well. We have one dead body and 23 people requiring medical attention, but they're slowly working through that backlog. So we'll be able to send the paramedics home as well, I think. I think our doctors can probably take care of the rest. Holy crap. Okay. And still, look at this. Like this, you know what? I don't want to open the... Oh, Jesus. I don't want to open the door because the servo job will get cancelled, right? I want the servo to be installed and then hooked up and then hopefully... Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> there was method to my madness, okay? I was just being a bit lazy. All right, here we go. Now, let's do this, okay? So rooms, we're going to have uh, deliveries. Wait, deliveries, where are you for Christ's sakes? We've got exports there. Deliveries should be, yes, okay, deliveries, all right, so this is going to be our new delivery area, okay, uh, with some bonus export area at the bottom. Okay, does that sound good to everybody? Big deliveries area right here outside, and then we're going to have exports uh, just like down here, okay, it doesn't need to be that big. Okay, perfect, nice, okay, and then we can expand protective custody into here. Notice how I'm just completely fucking ignoring the rest of the prison right now, it's a huge bang up underway, okay. Free time, everybody can come out. It looks like... No, okay, they're still fucking pissed, if you can believe that. Jesus Christ, okay. What's wrong now? She's in cuffs, okay. People are mad because the gang leader here is in cuffs. Okay, she's she needs two hours of solitary for, once again, attacking staff, okay? Which is nuts, okay. We're gonna search 
this prisoner and the cell as well. We're gonna search the cell. Okay, let's see if we can like keep her uh, punished for like other stuff as well. Maybe it's like not so much. I mean, they are rioting. I think they are pissed about the gang leader being like uh, punished or whatever. But maybe it's like a mix of other things as well. Come to think of it, like in needs, safety is like a high concern. Freedom, family. People aren't like getting to speak. Or see their families enough, I guess, which is becoming a little bit of a problem. Um, so I don't know. Maybe. Oh, hey, look! Oh fuck! The backlog's like almost cleared. Holy shit balls! Okay, so now, okay, check this out. Okay, we can demolish these walls here. Uh, well, these ones at least. Okay, we now have protective custody. Uh, looking at an expansion here as well, which is pretty fucking sweet. Holy crap! Okay, so we can have like a family cell here, and then another family cell like here which is not gonna fit okay maybe we only need one family cell in protective custody though had anybody actually stopped to consider that because like protective custody we don't need much in protective custody i wouldn't have thought okay so we need uh cells that go down to like here so the bed toilet and stuff and then the door okay so we can have a couple more cells there that should be good they have their own parole room we can expand out the canteen and stuff and we get a family room in here it's just like a token family room for protective custody and uh in deployment as well we want to make sure that this is protected only as well okay and there's no access out here anymore apparently oh no that's fine it was always like that Whoa! finally look at the temperatures finally going down staff morale is high after all of that staff morale somehow is high fuck me all right, well, look it. While all that was happening, it looks like our death row inmates, Chloe Merwood and Madison Berry, have been attending their clemency hearings and failing miserably, which is a great thing for us. That means that we're ever so close to frying these women as well, if you can believe that. I mean, that's fucking crazy. Holy shit. I am so, so encouraged <laughs> by these developments. Not so much the riots, though. Fuck me. All right, well, listen, it's probably enough for now. We'll be back next time uh, with some more Prison Architect. Hope you're still enjoying the series. I'm still enjoying playing it. So um, we got a lot of plans. We've got a lot of things that we want to do still. That We've come a long way, though. And the prison is looking pretty fucking sweet right now, too. It's got to be said. All right, great. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.